All right, mud and dirt every day. The YouTube channel, Hugh Clyde. The design fee, I wanna talk a little about the design fee. Okay. Uh, one thing I'm gonna talk about is, okay, you got a landscape architect and you got a landscape designers. Now, landscape architects have a different license. They've gone through more design courses, construction courses, and their license covers them doing simple planning designs as such. And it also allows them to do grading, cut and feel like a topo map here where you've got contours and different elevations and stuff and they can do a grading plan. And also their license covers, you know, they can design like some work for cities as a street layout, um, just more complicated things. Now, if a customer goes to them with a brand new house, bought a lot, they can go to the landscape architect. He'll get a map, a topo map and all this, and he can place the house on the lot. He can show the contours and the cut and the fill and things like that. <clears throat> and that's what his license covers. Also, like I said, he can design city street type stuff more in depth. All right, now the landscape designer, which is more or less what I am because I don't have a landscape architect degree. I have a landscape contracting degree but I also had design courses. Now, and I have a license to draw planting designs and install plants. And that's what my license covers. So there is a difference between a landscape architect and a landscape designer. But when it comes to drawing planting designs around a house, I can do the same thing the landscape architect does. Now, the design fee, if you had a landscape architect draw a plan, and he's not in the install business, he's gonna charge you for that design. That's a design fee. Okay, someone like me, who draws you a design and installs it, I still need to charge a design fee because the design is a total different product of the project. The installing of the design is one product, which there's a price for that. The designing a plan is another product. So there should be a design fee. Now a design fee for a simple planting design is not gonna be near as involved as a whole layout from a landscape architect concerning cut, fill, placing house on a lot, contours, drainage, and and property lines and all that. So their, their design's gonna be a whole lot more involved, more, more money. <clears throat> now, that's uh, the, the main difference, say, from architect, planning, designer. Now, so somebody comes to me and wants a landscape, but they don't have a plan drawn by another landscape designer or a landscape architect, then I can't give them a price for the job until we have a plan. So that's why you got to have the plan. And then I can draw the plan. And then I need to charge a design fee for that plan and also give them a price for installing. Now, say this drawing right here, this simple drawing here, I'm just going to throw out a number, maybe $500. Now, the customer says, okay, cool. How much is it to install it? Well, I've gotten over here and figured over what it costs to install it. Now, Planting beds and mulch, 12,003. Irrigation, 8,500. 
side with Bermuda in the front because it's sunny up there and shady in the back we put zoysia. Well, that's 10,003. If you want to do zoysia in the whole yard, add 2,600. The only reason I separated that out is because Bermuda is not going to grow in this backyard. And there's a lot of people and contractors say, screw that, we're going to put Bermuda back there because the price is lower. Well, it's not right because it's not going to last. You're going to have a mud backyard at three years or something. So, put Zorza back here. You just take some of that shade. That's doing the customer right, even though it costs more money to put Zorza back here than Bermuda, but that's still the right thing to do. And it's money well spent because it won't be a muddy backyard in two or three years when the shade kills the Bermuda because the Bermuda's got to have full sun. Okay, now, customer says, okay, total here plus sales tax, $33,277. Now, they say, okay, do you back that design fee out of that price at $500 if, you in, if I get you to install it? Okay, that's a catch-22. That's, you know, hard to say. But really, the answer would be no because this drawing is a whole different product than this. And without a drawing, a person, me or any other, couldn't come up with this. <clears throat> so if you back that $500 off of that, then you just gave them a free drawing, which, you know, I've done that before, give them a free drawing. But really, you should still be charging for the drawing. So you can get into a whole can of worms there. Okay, here's another thing a contractor could do, which I don't, but they could say, okay, I know the customer's going to ask me to give them $500 off the install if I let him do the install. And so some contractors say, yeah, I know he's going to ask that, so guess what? I'm going to put $500 in this price of this plan. <laughs> so then when I give him $500 off, or, you know, whatever, I've still got my design fee. Well, I don't do it like that. I'm going to be up front with you and tell you the design fee is $500, and that's what that is. And I did not add anything into that so that I could back off the design fee. That's just, I don't, I don't like to do things like that. So anyway, that is covers what the design fee is.